Hey guys, welcome back to the new video channel. Today, we're doing the long anticipated review, like full on review, of the DJI Ronin S. This thing is a beast. So let's jump straight into this. Hey guys, welcome back to the new video channel. My name is Jack Furley, I'm a freelance videographer, photographer and video editor, helping you take your video editing and your videography to the next level. So, today we're doing our first ever official product review. This big thing right here. And before we start, a big shout out to uh, Josh Hunter. Link, uh, well his Instagram's right here. Go check him out, thanks uh, to him for shooting some behind the scenes of me while I was at a job. So, jump straight to the review. So I'm going to break this down into four sections, putting the actual gimbal together and then balancing the camera because that's another big thing, it's, it's a pain when you, when you balance it for the first time. And then we're going to be using it, like my overall thoughts on the balance of it, you know, how comfortable it is. And then we're going to do my final thoughts, my overall thoughts on the gimbal. So jump straight into this, putting it together. Now this is quite simple, all you got to do, I'll throw some footage on as well, all you got to do is well, there's three parts, so you've got the main part here, you know, the main motors and stuff. And then you've got your actual battery here, and then you have an extra grip here, that tripod that extends out and it can be used as a tripod so you can plant it down. So it's simple, you just slide the battery into the actual motor, there's a power, you, you literally just slide it in and there's a, there's a lever here, there's a little like latch lever here, where you can just tighten it, boom, that ain't coming out. And then all you do is just screw the tripod on like you would at any normal tripod. And then that is basically putting it together. Now balancing the camera is a completely different story. So you've got three different motors on this. You've got, you've got, uh, I can't remember which is which, but you've got tilt, pan, and I think the roll. So you've got this motor first that you have to balance. You hold it here, hold it here, and then balance, put your camera on, on the slide you don't have it on, the, the actual like slide thing that you screw to the bottom of your camera, you slide it in and then tighten it here with this knob right here. Tighten it and then, well don't tighten it but tighten it a little bit so, you, so it's not flying all over the place and then just move back and forth a little bit and then once the, it's balanced like this and it can actually stand straight on without it tilting backwards or forwards, you then have a stabilised, well this motor is stabilised and then you can move on to this one. You want to just, un this is the, uh, the lever for this part, so what you want to do is unscrew it and then readjust it here. I'm not going to read like show you because it's already balanced for me, but you want to slide this little um, slider in and out to see you know, where it balances and then once you've got it balanced, tighten it and then it'll be balanced basically. And then for the last one, you know, you've got the bottom one here, so you, un you just unscrew it here, like you turn it, and then slide it and then once the camera's balanced, I'll link, I'm not doing a good job of explaining it, I'll link a DJI official balancing it up there, but I've thrown some footage right now of me balancing it. It's quite simple once you've got it nailed down. All you have to do is balance the actual um, slider on and then once it's balanced, it's balanced basically. I'll, for a tip, um, one thing I learned while on my job is, while using this gimbal, is leave the actual um, the, the plate on the camera. If you're shooting handheld, um, leave the, the plate on. If you're going to be coming back and forth from your, from your gimbal, leave it on because you don't want to be faffing around with it. You can just slide it on, you can remember what point, maybe, maybe it's at two, two centimeters or something, you can then just put it into two centimeters and it's balanced straight away and you can get back out of there and you can start shooting again. So, balancing the camera, quite simple once you nail it down, but it can be quite a faff. So actually using the gimbal, I just thrown some footage of me using the gimbal um, on our live event, a DJ shoot that I was at last weekend. It was very, very good in terms of getting those nice smooth shots. You know, one, one of the things I think that Ronin's doing really better than like a, like say like a Weebly something, is that this thing is really smooth when you compare it to like, like a Weebly, or I think it's called like a Zion Crane or something like that, it begins with a Z, so I don't, I don't understand the crazy names that they have, but when compared to those other gimbals that's like in its class, this one smashes them out of the park. The Ronin S is on top of the game in terms of balancing and get smooth footage. Even if you're running a little bit, um, I've done some test shots of me running around my apartment um, with this thing, and it was pretty. I did have a bit of bounce here and there, obviously, because you're running, but that can just be easily stomped out with a warp stabilizer. 
So using it, you know, you're going to get some real smooth footage, but um, the only downside of using it is that this thing is quite heavy. It's not heavy like right now, but once you start adding stuff onto it, um, it can get quite heavy. My camera is quite a heavy camera. It's a mirrorless camera, but I've had to get an adapter because because um, I've got a bunch of like native Ni uh, Nikon lenses and I bought an adapter and I mostly use my Sigma lens and Sigma lenses are quite heavy so put all of that together and possibly like a microphone or an LED panel on top of your camera this thing does get really heavy your arms will start to set after about 30 minutes or so depending on your payload if you're just using like a mirrorless camera just a mirrorless camera like a small prime lens on this thing it won't get heavy you can keep shooting for a longer period of time but the Ronin S is built for heavier rigs. By rocking a, he a heavier uh, setup, it will start to ache your arms after a while. But if you do have a smaller um, setup, I would recommend the Ronin S C. That is a smaller setup. It's basically the next one that DJI released from the Ronin S. Still same specs, everything like that. But it's a little bit better because obviously it's the next one. But um, it is a smaller build for smaller cameras. My camera is a beast. It is really heavy. Um, and it did weigh this thing down quite a bit, so my arms did get quite heavy. In terms of the actual functionality of like the app and stuff, I had no problems at all. I set up my user modes, you've got one, two, and three right there. Got different user modes that you can switch, uh, quickly switch to. On mode one, I've got a quite, you know, cinematic, kind of not cinematic, a more sports mode, fast paced, like moving. So if I move quickly, the camera's gonna snap to me. Um, on my second mode, I've got more of like the, the retail, like property videos, you know, like a, like a property video, like a, showing off the rooms, you want that nice, smooth, but so if you snap quickly, the camera's going to slowly but surely smooth, uh, move to you, like that nice, like smooth, like showcase shot. Um, I've got that on mode 2, and then on mode 3, I've got the infinite barrel roll, I love my barrel rolls. I'll throw in the video that I did up there, you can have a look at the uh, footage that I captured. Some of it is handheld, some of it is with the Ronin, um, that's just the way I shoot, I shoot handheld and I shoot with my rig. Um, so, you know, just take what you will from that video, but the overall balancing and the modes and the app, I had no issues with. And another thing I like about the Ronin S is that, um, it's, it's got a built-in auto-tune feature. Now this is something that most uh, gimbals don't have. So if you click the auto-tune, it's gonna make this really, really weird, uh, like Darth Vader noise almost, kind of like It's basically gonna flush everything out, it's gonna balance, it's gonna auto like configurate the how sensitive the motors are and stuff to the to your setup, which is quite nice. And the active track is magnificent. I've used an active track on a, on a Weebly before and it wasn't the best, you know, it kept losing focus, it kept like losing the person every now and then. But the active track on the Ronin S is superb. You know, it predicts, there's the, the technology that DJI basically uses to, to, for the, the active track. They're a drone company, so they've got to be on top of this thing with, with drones and stuff, you know, follow features and stuff like that. So they've imported their technology to the Ronin S and it's absolutely magnificent. There's a technology where if you go out of frame, say if I was to go out of frame here, it'd be searching right here for me to come back and it would predict, if I was to come back, it would predict where I'm gonna move to. So it doesn't really lag in that term, you know, it, it will keep you in the center of the focus unless you are playing, you know, you're running or you're playing some sort of intensive sport. It will then kind of struggle a little bit like any gimbal would. Um, but if you are moving, like if you're jogging even, it will do a really good job of actually keeping you in the centre of the frame and, you know, help it, you know, you do want some help from AI every now and then. So keeping the active track and the app superb, I had no problems with it. My overall final thoughts of the, of, of the DJI Ronin S, solid gimbal, really good, especially for the price as well, you can pick this up second hand. It goes for about £600, around £700, but you can get it second hand for just under £300. Now that is a bargain. I recommend MPB. I've gotten stuff from MPB before. They are absolutely on top of it. I love MPB. I've never had any issues with them. You can pick up about a, a Ronin S from there for about, for about £300 or something like that. It is really good. I really recommend MPB if you're not looking to pay full price for a new gimbal. The only thing is it is quite heavy um, when you start to add all of this stuff so 
that's usually the only downside to it. Apart from that, I have no technical, no like appearance based wise. It's, it's solid, it's made out of metal, you know, there's no plastic on this thing. This thing's pure metal. Um, this thing can take a beating. I've seen some people absolutely wreck their DJIs, like try smash them and stuff. And it still works, like this thing is an absolute beast. So I really do recommend, you know, I'm not sponsored by Ronin or DJI, Ronin, Ronin S. Um, but I really do recommend this gimbal. This gimbal is really good. Um, and you can pick it up for a good price, second hand. Um, so apart from that guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos. And if you want to help the production of future content on this channel, go buy me coffee, link in the description, the amount you donate is up to you. But apart from that guys, it's been Jack and I'll see you on the next video.